Welcome back to part two of Serialist Business, Cheerios Miscellaneous Adventure into the Land of Wienerville. I am Matt Zion along with Lori and Jeff Wu, and apparently I can get Lori to laugh pretty easily, but Jeff Wu, I will crack you. You will. With what? I don't know, I'll probably just have to kill you with a hammer. That's probably the only way I'd ever crack you. That might tickle. So today we're going to be fasting. <laughs> today we're going to be trying Cheerios peanut butter flavor. So this has been out a lot longer than the one that uh, we reviewed yesterday. That's actually pretty brand new. This one though has been out for probably like a year or so and I've had it a few times myself and I like it. But I like it even more now that I saw the chick has a Cheerio dress. Mm -hmm. Yep. She's gonna get it because they're gonna want to eat that right off of her yep. body. Mm. But so see -through. She's it's gonna it. affect her thighs though. Uh, I'm excited about this. That's why I bought it. I actually bought it for myself but I figured let's uh, go ahead and do a review on it as well. You almost just poked me. Maybe later. Yeah. So I guess this is like another healthy cereal. Because it's multi-grain, that's the idea is it's healthier than rain. What the hell was that? Yeah. I guess it's sticky. I don't know. I think you messed that part really well. <laughs> I'm just oh, saying. Oh, I know. <laughs> Can't <continue>. Simba! <laughs> Look that up. Lion King Simba just thinks funny. Now this is excellent with milk, by the way. I think it's... It's almost as good as uh, Honey Nut Cheerios. Why are they different shades of brown? Because some of them of are multi-grain. <laughs> the all Cheerios were multi-grain. I don't know. All right, here we go. Peanut butter Cheerios. I just don't think it's strong enough. I don't think so either. I think there's but, a reason for that, though. But the, the Cheerios themselves are lighter than the normal Cheerios, yeah. which makes them good. Yeah, because it's they're, they're definitely aiming for something a little healthier. Yeah. That's the point. When you get them in milk, I think the advantage is that the milk starts getting very peanut buttery tasting, and it kind of helps that right. lack of taste when they're dry. But even dry, they're not bad, although they're not a snacking cereal. There's some cereals where you can just sit there and snack all day. Yeah. You couldn't do that with this one. Because um, they're multigrain. Yeah, I would rate this 3 out of 5. They, there's... I don't know. It, it feels like it has a little, it needs more bite. It needs more peanut butter. I'm just a panda bear. It needs something to. They need to come out with like a overly fat. It needs to be made it. peanut butter. Well, like the yes. Reese's, like the Reese's uh, peanut butter cereal. Like that's that's probably I the most. Tried that. Oh, yeah. it's. If you want peanut butter morning. cereal, just get that. <laughs> yeah, I like this one though. I don't know. You can have this without feeling too bad, and it won't go to your hips. I give it a two. It's pointless padding scene time. I give it a four out of five, just because I had the experience of it with milk, which I think helps immensely. So, there, how many of them are out there right now, though? There's like... 451. There's so many. I remember I thought... We will try every one. There was like four new ones, and then uh, you and I went to Target, and they had like a whole shelf, an aisle yeah. dedicated to it different kinds of Cheerios. Stay tuned next week when we try... <laughs> Sardine Cheerios. That would be badass. I wish they would do more things like that. Like, it's fun. I always gave credit to um, uh, Jones Soda because yeah. they would come out with those weird flavors every once in a while. It wasn't for everybody. It was just to buy on the website. They, the they cat is to, getting into they the cat. They need to try one called Mystery Flavor. Just that would something, be fun. something yeah. completely. It's they too bad that they. Yeah. It's too bad that they stopped doing that. They don't really do the flavors. Anymore. Did they? Yeah. It's probably. I mean, when you're putting millions of dollars into sweat flavored soda, I don't think you're making smart business decisions. But there you go. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Serious Business. I need to get the cat out of the cabinet. That sounds like a band, doesn't it? The cat in the cabinet. <laughs> or you have a secret. All right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Join us next time when we wear our Cheerio dresses. Yeah, I'll wear it. Yeah. See you tomorrow. <laughs>